The home team is tapping on technology in training to simulate large-scale operations that are, well, sometimes difficult to replicate. And through the use of VR and simulation systems, scenarios can be created for a prison officer to manage a courtyard filled with inmates, well, for example, or immigration officers to handle rogue gunmen at one of Singapore's checkpoints. And Faris Jiraimi tells us more. Exercise begin. An instructor gives the command, and immigration officers get ready to start the exercise. Okay. Officers in the operations room monitor activities, while those in the first response team await instructions. Moments later, they spring into action. Option take note. Got man spotted outside. It's basically like playing a game. It's like playing Counter Strike back then. You know, it's just like back then, so olden days. So suddenly to come in, coming back to this kind of system with the same kind of uh, functions, function keys, and all that. So it was it's also fun. It's like it makes learning more lively, more fun for officers. There are 45 scenarios available in the Command and Control or C2 simulation training system. This is the Woodlands Checkpoint and the C2 training simulation system currently simulates the terrain of the Woodlands Checkpoint only. But ICA says it will explore extending it to other areas like the air and sea checkpoints. Good morning, staff. Good morning. At the Home Team Academy, this prison's officer is preparing to face a courtyard full of inmates, 100 of them. All inmates, go to the wall, face the wall, squat, hands over your head. I didn't know what to say because there are so many heads looking at me. And that's when I realized the importance of VR training because we can't really depict or illustrate such a scenario in, uh, in this training setting because we have to get 100 people to you know, mimic how a prison, uh, prisoners' uh, inmates would, would react. This virtual reality scenario-based training simulation system allows the Singapore Prison Service to increase the frequency of training as well as the number of trainees at one go. Table-wise, it helps us, reduces a lot of uh, resources, meaning we do have to uh, reset up everything, we do have to prepare much of the props and everything to cater for the training, but we, everything is leveraging through the technology itself. There are currently three scenarios for officers to work on, but more can be added.